there is a magical benefit to intermittent fasting one that doesn't really get spoken about a lot in general but academics and fitness nerds can't stop talking about it i'm talking about autophagy which literally translates into eating one's own self and as gory as it sounds it won a nobel prize for the guy who discovered it in 2016 yep that's how important autophagy is so what is autophagy what does it do what does it mean and why do people say that intermittent fasting can actually reverse aging i am going to go full nerd on all of these and more in today's video of the whole truth academy by the way in case you missed all of them this is the last video in a mini series we've been running on if for the past 2 months check it out because i can guarantee there's no question you have about if that we haven't covered in these videos oh and who are we well i am shashank i am the founder of the whole truth it's india's first 100% clean label food brand and this channel is our labor of love and we use it to spread the whole truth about food and fitness so if you like what you see please support us by hitting the subscribe button and sharing this with friends for now though let's talk about death apoptosis apologies for the macabre start but tell me what exactly is death well death for any organism isn't one event it's a series of small events that eventually piles up and this death like any other death is essential for life for new life <laughs> too far out allow me to explain you see all organisms are large complicated cellular structures and cells within any organism like our bodies get damaged and die all the time old damaged cells need to die need to be wiped out for new healthy cells to grow it's a process that's continuously going on inside all of us both at the cellular and at the subcellular level but when and why do cells die some cells get damaged due to external factors like injury or poison or infections so when you get a cut on your finger cells whose blood supply gets cut off they die this is called necrosis but some cells don't just die they commit suicide yep cells kill themselves nothing external happens just that the cell becomes damaged due to excessive wear and tear and the body decides its time is up this process is called apoptosis and as dark as it sounds apoptosis is key to living a healthy life when a fetus is taking shape inside a mother's womb its feet are webbed slowly that webbing disappears and we get distinct fingers the cells in the webbing die voluntarily apoptosis our brains create millions of neurons at first but only some of the neurons organize into neural pathways that become thoughts and memories the rest die voluntarily apoptosis think of your body as a equipment rental company millions of cells that make it up being the equipment it rents out both biologically and philosophically speaking we are just tenants in our bodies and we have a contract with this company so whenever we need to perform a task the company lends out a specific certain number of machinery built for that task at hand want to lift a cup the body mobilizes muscular cells in your fingers and performs the task want to solve a hard problem the body mobilizes neural networks in the brain and supports you want to run a marathon the body hates you but mobilizes everything from muscle fibers to persistent neural networks in the brain to help you scrape through now like any equipment due to prolonged use this equipment too goes through wear and tear it becomes damaged and isn't able to reliably perform its assigned task but the body takes its contract very seriously If you've been keeping your end of the bargain and giving it clean fuel aka food and exercise it wants to ensure you get the right service every time and it can't guarantee that with damaged cells so it does continuous quality checks on its entire fleet the equipment or cells that it finds up beyond repair are decommissioned or killed 
apoptosis. The ones that can be fixed and made brand new are sent in for repair, subcellular repair or autophagy. Autophagy is Greek for eating oneself, gory but again essential for survival and for once a Latin word that means exactly what it's supposed to. To continue with the example, assume it came up in the body's assessment that a cell has sustained some damage. Much like a car that's otherwise fine but needs a tyre change and an oil refill. Rather than junk the entire car, the body instructs the subcellular component to cleanse itself. And the starting point for that is to remove the damaged component. And the body's brilliant solution to that is autophagy. Through a complex subcellular process, the body earmarks the damaged portion in the cell for repair and then begins its decomposition. During the decomposition, the absolutely worthless parts are discarded, while the retrievable portions become raw material from which the new part is manufactured. Imagine a self-decomposing pile of waste. It feeds on itself and then, using the retrievable junk, a new part grows in its place. Our bodies are absolute bloody genius. Okay, now you understand apoptosis and autophagy, but what's their linkage with IF? IF and autophagy. Before I proceed, let me declare that all that I'm saying is based on secondary research. It's near impossible to actually see or detect autophagy in the body. There are no visible signs. Ketosis is known to aid it, so if you are in ketosis, which you can judge by peeing on a urinalysis strip, you might soon be kicking off autophagy too. But sorry for the rest, we'll just have to trust the research. If it's any consolation though, it's this research that won Yoshinori Osumi the Nobel Prize. So I assume there must be something to it. That said, there's a whole body of research that's now emerging which supports the claim that Nutrient deprivation stimulates autophagy. Going back again to our analogy, autophagy is like car servicing. And servicing cannot be done if the car is still in use. One needs to bring it to the garage and let it lie idle there for a while for the mechanic to work on it. It seems that if we continuously keep eating, our insulin levels are continuously high and the body is unable to initiate this self-service protocol. Now, the science here gets a bit geeky, but stay with me. You see, eating triggers insulin, which triggers protein synthesis via something called the mammalian TOR or mTOR. An increased mTOR suppresses autophagy due to an equally complicated process that I will not get into. I'm leaving links below if you wish to go deeper. Anyways, point is mice trials as well as in vitro human trials seem to suggest that fasting or nutrient deprivation does in fact reduce mTOR levels and hence stimulates autophagy. Which is great news if it's true. Because a lot of the diseases we suffer from today, from cancers to tumours, are all due to unnecessary overgrowths. Others, like Alzheimer's, are due to rampant cellular degradation without renewal. Perhaps our modern diets and lifestyles which are so constant and demanding, are keeping our internal equipment in always-on mode. We keep feeding ourselves all these never-before-in-human-history levels of food intake and our bodies just keep growing and multiplying cells, never once stopping to service or cleanse the old dying parts that might be going out of service. Autophagy or self-cleansing is essential to life. And nutrient deprivation or fasting seems to be the path to it. Before I end though, a word about anti-aging. What exactly is aging? Well, if you ask me, cell degradation is aging. As an organism ages, its autophagous abilities decrease. That means it can no longer service and repair itself as efficiently as it used to. So, cell damage starts accumulating and over time, a majority of cells become damaged or defunct. When this degradation reaches vital organs, we die. So, anything that can help promote autophagy can, in principle, have anti-aging effects in the truest sense of the word. That's another big claim that IF proponents are making. Now, only time will tell if it's true, but the theory definitely checks out. 
So a final word in this final video of our IF series. Here's what I'll say. Do IF for its proven fat loss and calorie restriction benefits. If autophagy is true, you might also get the added benefit of living a few more years. But in any case, good health will already make your time on earth better, if not longer. That's it. Eight videos on a topic that we at The Whole Truth are so passionate about. Done. This truly is a labor of love and pretty much the only marketing we do. So if you like what you see, please do hit that subscribe button and send this video to as many people in your family groups as you can. Regular programming resumes from next time. So ciao for now.